Hello, second graders. Ms. Bogleman here for your math lesson today. So let's get started. I'll share my screen. All right. So today is September 21st, and this is our math lesson. Our learning target for today is the student will be able to build an equation when the second number in the, in the equation is unknown. We've started working with this, but we're going to continue to practice it today. So now I'm going to stop my share for a moment. Let's see, yes, that's what I needed. Okay, so our problem for today is the teacher gave out 19 stickers. She gave out some more stickers after lunch. She gave out a total of 32 stickers. How many stickers did she give out after lunch? All right, so to make our equation first, because we always want an equation, um, the teacher gave out 19 stickers. Okay, so we know that she gave out 19. We also know that she gave out a total of 32, but what we don't know is how much she gave out after lunch. So that's our unknown. So we're gonna say 19 plus this unknown number, right? This unknown number whoop, equals, what's our total? 32. All right, so we need to find out what this unknown is that we have in our problem. And we know that we, she gave out 19 stickers before lunch, but we don't know how many she um, gave out after lunch. So today we are going to try using a number line to figure it out. Here's my number line, kind of crooked, but it's there. And we're going to start on our open number line at the number 19. Now an open number line is nice because we can start our number line wherever we want. We don't have to start at zero. We can start it wherever we want. That's why it's called an open number line. And of course, we need to see how many it's going to take to get us to the number 32. So 32 is our number that we're ending this number line on. Okay, so here is our ending spot. Now we can jump any amount of numbers that we want. I think I'm going to start my jumps with the number one, one jump. Now remember, when you do this jump, you have to show how much you've jumped over top of the jump that you draw. Now 19 plus one we know is 20. And the reason I'm doing that is because um, that gets me to a multiple of 10 or a tens, which is going to be so much easier to count by. Now, if I count by 10, if I make a big jump and go to, and I add 10, okay, you may even want to put an add addition symbol to show that you're adding these numbers to it. 20 plus 10 is 30, so I have to put this here. Now don't forget, you must put the numbers, the number you jumped to underneath, because if you just start making random jumps without counting underneath, you'll have no idea where you are on the number line. Now, I jumped one because I wanted to get from 19 to 20, and I jumped a big one, 10, because I knew 10 plus 20 is 30. I still haven't made it to the number 32 yet. So I need to jump how many more to get to the number two? Well, from 30 to 32, it's plus two, okay? And that gets me to the number 32. So you say, how do we figure out this number that goes here? Well, I take the 10 and add two, that's 12, then I add 12 and add one, and that is 13. So 19 plus 13 equals 32, okay? 
So we were counting up from 19 to 32 because we knew we had 19. We had to get to the number 32 to figure out what I have to add to 19 to get 32. All right. So let's stop our share again so that Ms. Fogelman can get back to the slideshow. All right. Now, hopefully, up oh, here it is. All right, in closure, if we were given the total number of stickers and how many were left, how would that change our equation? So if we had been given, Ms. Fogelman didn't click on her pen before she let it go. All right, so if we were, had been given 32, okay, and we knew we had 32 stickers, and we were given the number we have left, which let's say it's 19, what would be the difference here in our equation than the other one? Well, we'd no longer be adding, okay? So let me clear this off and do 32, oops, Miss Fogelman, 32, and equals 19. So we would then have to figure out using subtraction, right? So if our problem said we had 32 stickers, um, we ended up with 19 at the end of the day. How many stickers did we give out? Then we would have to do subtraction. 32 minus some number equals 19, okay? And then our um, number line will look a little different. So we'll be talking about that down the line, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of information now so you could be thinking about it. All right, good job today. Um, and make sure you're getting that work done so that you don't have a whole lot of work to do on Friday. Um, have a good day and get, work hard.